this? Good. Hello? Testing, testing. What were you just eating? Blueberry. <laughs> Frozen blueberry. She has purple teeth. All right, can I start, please? Okay. I'll introduce you. I want to. Introduce. Okay, go ahead. Introduce. Hi, my name is Kalea, and this is my dad, Kevin. Um, you might, I don't. We he will be, I think, talking about eating plants or eating animals. All right. Yes. Thank you for the introduction. Catalea was in the first video, and she's going to be in the wrap-up video. Uh, I just want to talk about the 4040 series very quickly and say thank you all for watching. Got a lot more views than I had anticipated. Obviously, I didn't do it for that. I did it more for myself because I wanted to get my thoughts down in a constructive way. And for 40 consecutive days, it it forced me to uh, talk about different excuses and different issues and really sort of be creative. Um, and I like that part. It actually took 44 days. Go ahead. So, um, eating plants is healthy for you. One, it's healthy. And two, you should do it to... Better for to the planet. Like, yeah, it's better for the planet. And three, it'll help you survive. And four... Um, you, you will grow. It'll help you grow. Okay, great. So, uh, what was I going to say? All right, so it took 44 days because apparently there's 44 days in Lent. There's four extra days there. I don't know how that happened, so I took a four-day break. I wanted it to end on the last day of Lent. Um, it had nothing to do with religion. I just thought 40 days would be cool. I saw Earthling Ed did 30 excuses in 30 days, and so I was inspired by that. I wanted to take it to the next level, and I thought that that would be a, a cool way to coincide with Lent. Um, so I did 40 excuses in 40 days. I also tried to copy, what's his name, Nas Daily, the guy who does one-minute videos. Um, in, in the sense that I wanted it to be one minute or less because everyone's attention span is so limited now and taken from here to there. Uh, I thought that two, three, four, five minute videos which are out there, sometimes you see a 15 minute video uh, for a simple response to one of these excuses. And I get it, sometimes it's a little bit more complicated and sometimes you really gotta talk it out to, to really fully understand uh, but I think if we can't make our point in a minute or less, then we're doing something wrong. We got to get straight to the point. And in fact, I think I took too long. I think a minute is too long and I think it can be done in 30 seconds or less. Um, so, so that's a challenge. I think anyone who's listening, if you want to try to do 30 second responses to these excuses. I, I wholeheartedly embrace that. I want, I actually want to inspire more people to do this. Like let's, let's join the 4040 club. Let's do it together. The more people that do this, the more responses to excuses will be out there in the internet and more non-vegans will see these excuses and they'll be forced to think about them, even if they don't change their mind, because most people won't change their mind, especially not because of an excuse. Usually it's because um, of a video or, or something else that, that's transformational in their life. But these are like little tiny puzzle pieces that sort of need to be in place before someone makes that major transformation. Um, and I do think to whatever extent these excuses are killing animals. So uh, I hope that one day somebody's gonna watch one of these videos and, and be inspired to become an activist, not just you know keep animals off your plate, but to do more. I think we are morally obligated to do more than just be vegans. We should be activists as well. Go ahead. I watched one of your videos. You watched one? Yeah? Did you like it? Do you want to tell them about, like, what was your favorite video? I like the one with the, the one with the planets, like the one where you said the dream. Oh, yeah, it's not a hypothetical dream world. Yeah, yeah, I think that was the last one I just did. Yeah, that's, that was my favorite. That was your favorite one? Yeah. 
I thought you would like the one that had Superman on the front. Did you like that one? I didn't get to watch it. Oh, okay. All right. Was there one that you didn't like? Like, what was your least favorite one? No, they were all that good, huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they were all that good. All right, so... I uh, think of any. That's it. I, I also want to say that I am by no means a, a professional or an expert in video making. I am so amateur. It's not even funny. Clearly, I'm an amateur if you look at the videos. And the, the first few videos were, were just, like, terrible in terms of audio and, and lighting. Um, and I think that I got better over time with that in that regard uh, but obviously it's still not perfect and there's a lot of work to do so so it, this helped me learn and and made me better at that skill and that's partly the reason I did it too I wanted to learn that skill so if there's anything else I want to say in the future um, I'll know what to do how to you know like the lighting this is natural lighting this is not a lamp or artificial lighting this is just a sheet behind us uh, my furniture is behind the sheet so you can't see that and I'm just facing a window bought a mic this was like 20 bucks on Amazon um, I've got a tripod and a teleprompter uh, which cost like a hundred bucks I got that a couple years ago though I just hadn't been using it I always thought that I would use it and I never did so yeah just I guess I had all the tools in place but it's not much money if you really wanted to start from scratch and do something from your house just take your iPhone turn it around and answer the excuse to the best of your ability in less than a minute um, or less than 30 seconds you know and go beyond 40 excuses go go to 100 if you can say like let's do let's do 100 excuses in 100 days let's say 365 365 excuses in 365 days that's a lot of work 40 days was a lot of work I thought but um, but it's possible and and we need more people to kill these excuses because like I said before I think these excuses are killing animals and uh, more pieces of the puzzle need to fit into the big picture in order for the masses mainstream to to uh, accept what we're saying because we're right we're absolutely right there's no excuse for eating animals I don't care what anyone says there's just no excuse um, we do it out of greed out of desire out of taste uh, out of um, just convenience but there's no good logical excuse to do it there's nothing magical in meat we can find everything in meat in plants um, and because causing or because killing animals causes them so much suffering, we're morally obligated to to just eat plants. Uh, so that's the main message. Obviously, if you haven't figured that out, go ahead. Anything else you want to say? Killing animals is bad for the environment. It's healthy to eat plants for for the environment. Correct. <laughs> it's also healthy for our bodies. And yeah. We save animals by not eating animals. Yeah, that's right. And we should not eat animals because it's more suffering, like he said. Like, yeah. Wow, I'm impressed. That was totally unprompted. She's not like reading anything. I did not tell her to say that. Right? Did I tell you to say that? No. Anything else you want to say? <laughs> totally unprompted, off the cuff? Go ahead. Um, Speak to the world. Plants are healthier for you. Meat is is bad for you. Well, okay, that was good. So you've been vegan your whole life, right? Ever since you were a tiny, tiny baby. And how do you feel? I feel good. Yeah. Do you have a lot of energy? Yeah. I could run. I could run fast. I could run as fast as Flash. As fast as Flash, well, that's pretty fast. And how about your reading abilities? How good are you at reading? Are you smart? Yes, um, I can read 300 books in one minute. In one minute. <laughs> there might be a slight exaggeration, but she is very uh, advanced for her age. 
she's only five and she we have a canadian reading system she's level she reads level 16 books but honestly i think she should go much higher than that because she reads a level 16 book in less than a couple of minutes and she fully understands every single word uh, you, you're level 40 yeah i don't know why. are you just saying that because this is the 40 40 series no no? Okay, she's saying she's level 40 now. I don't know about that. I haven't heard that yet. Life. Okay, that's great. Said. Anyway, uh, the point is that she's healthy. And, you know, when we go to the doctor and, and do regular checkups, they say she's great, she's growing, she's fully developing in all the ways that she should. And like I said, she's been vegan since she was, uh, she, since she was born, since my wife was pregnant. Mm -hmm. Um, she was vegan at that time and so it's totally possible and and we're not experimenting in any way this is like medical literature and science that shows um, that it's possible all you got to do is get the right nutrient nutrients nutrition from plants and that means eating a wide variety of of plants to do that so totally possible we are happy healthy and strong and uh, trying to spread the message as much as possible all right thank you for watching and, anything else and try to eat, to eat vegan no meat right no zero zero meat what about a little tiny tiny bitty piece of meat is that okay uh mm, still not healthy still not healthy <laughs> <laughs> you on, you're only allowed to eat plants. No meat. Well, we're not at that point in society yet, but um, we will eventually get there. And especially with all these new plant-based burgers that are coming out and plant-based alternatives. They're going to be healthier. They're going to be more sustainable. They're going to taste just as good. If not, they're going to excel they're going to go beyond that's what beyond meat is trying to do they're going to trying to go beyond meat um, in terms of taste and texture and overall experience the the burgers and and steaks and, and nuggets and all that that they're going to make will taste better than traditional meat so um so we're laying the foundation for what's to come in the next five to ten years say again you want to talk go ahead we're almost done. We're out of time. This is a long, long video here. Um, um, I can eat one whole Beyond Burger in one minute. And she doesn't even give me a bite. Uh, yeah, I'm fast. You're fast? Yeah, she eats it. Show them how fast you eat it. Done. Done. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Say goodbye. Bye. I'll do it, I'll do it. Which one? Which one? The red one up top.